So I've reached that point in packing where everything is packed except for those few last minute things and there is absolutely nothing to do. Bunny foo foo, hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice, and bumping them on the head. I know what you're thinking. You're wondering why I'm not pretending, imagining, or making up stories about all the grand adventures that I'm going to have. The thing is, I don't want to think about it. Whenever I do, my stomach starts to feel like a giant has me gripped between his finger and his thumb, and my mind starts flailing around for freedom, and... No, I won't give in to it. I'm not going into a strange new world that's a gaping mouthful of danger. America isn't a strange new world. But it is to you. But the point is that I don't have real reason to be scared. You have far greater reason than I do to be worried. Oh, I'm sure I'll be fine, Sarah. Besides, I'll be back in a year and everything will be as it was before. Will we be moving back to India? If only it were true. I have to go where they send me, but I will try to persuade them to go somewhere where I can take you with me. So enough dreary thoughts. What are you excited about? Well, it will be really exciting to live with a lot of other girls who are around my age. And I suppose the fact that the boarding school is a rather old romantic setting is a plus too. Mm, I must tell you that it probably will not be a romantic setting. But I'm sure that you can make it beautiful when you see it through your eyes. You have a talent for seeing the world through rose-colored glasses. I hope that I will always have that ability. And so do I. Well, if you're all done packing here, how about one last walk around the garden? I think that is a splendid idea. Thank you. 